press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone, today we are going to understand how to read a psychometric chart. By the end of this session, you will be able to identify and understand the lines which represents the psychometric chart. How to read a psychometric chart? The first important parameter in the psychometric chart is known as dry bulb temperature. Dry bulb temperature are read from an ordinary thermometer that has a dry bulb. Now let us understand on a psychometric chart. The two important parameters are identification of lines and identification of the scale. Dry bulb temperature in degree centigrade. On the x-axis, as you can see, the dry bulb temperature is measured in degree centigrade from starting from left to right. Now the line which represents a dry bulb temperature on a psychometric chart is a straight line. Wet bulb temperature. Temperature which is measured by wrapping a wet cloth on a thermometer. Wet bulb temperature are read from an ordinary thermometer whose bulb is covered by a wet wick. The difference between the wet bulb and the dry bulb temperature is caused by the cooling effect produced by the evaporation of moisture from the wet wick. The dry bulb temperature and the difference between the wet bulb temperature is the difference is the same dry bulb temperature is wrapped by a wet wick and the temperature is measured. Now let us understand on the psychometric chart. Wet bulb temperatures in degree centigrade. The inclined line which is representing with a green color is known as a wet bulb temperature on a psychometric chart. Relative humidity. The third important parameter of a psychometric chart is relative humidity. The amount of air in a form of percentage. The, the property of relative humidity is a comparison of the amount of moisture that is given amount of air is holding to the amount of moisture that the same amount of air can hold. Now this is not very confusing. If you understand it in a simple terminology that relative humidity is equal to the amount of moisture that a given amount of air is holding by the amount of moisture that a given amount of air can hold. Now to understand the relative humidity in detail, I have another video. You can go there and watch the exactly what relative humidity is to understand it in detail. Now in this video, let us understand the relative humidity on a psychometric chart. These lines on a psychometric chart represent relative humidity and the relative humidity is measured in percentage. As you can see here at the small example 100% of relative humidity with 10 degree centigrade of temperature. Now at 20 degree centigrade the same water vapor is there but the, as the temperature increases the specific volume of the increases. In the same way here if you can see the specific volume changes and increases as 30 degree centigrade but whereas the water vapor content remains the same. Now due to the increase in the specific volume with respect to the temperature increase the humidity is percentage is decreasing. Now this particular terminology is known as relative humidity. Humidity ratio or absolute humidity. HR gains of water per grams of dry air. 
Vapor is also measured in grains. One grain is equal to 0 0.065 gram. Now here you can see on the right hand side, this is the humidity ratio which is measured with a horizontal line on a psychometric chart. Dew point temperature. It is same temperature of saturated air. The dew point temperature is the temperature at which the moisture leaves the air and condensate on the object just as the dew forms on the grass of a plant leaf. Now to understand dew point temperature is the maximum amount of water vapor a particular temperature at a given temperature holds. Now let us understand a dew point temperature on a psychometric chart. Now if you can see the dew point temperature is measured on the left hand side. When you move on the left side of the psychometric chart this is where the dry bulb and the wet bulb temperature becomes same when the dew point occurs so therefore this particular temp area or this particular point is known as the dew point temperature specific volume it is the volume per gram of dry meter cube per gram enthalpy it is the volume it is the amount of heat present per gram of the air joules per gram now you can see the specific volume is represented by again by a or inclined lines reading the psychometric chart now let us put all the lines on a psychometric chart to understand how the psychometric charts actually look like dry bulb temperature wet bulb temperature relativity humidity ratio and specific volume now this is how a complicated looking like psychometric chart represent but on the other hand this is not complicated this is a very simplified psychometric chart easy to use Note, any two values shall be known in order to determine the remaining parameters. To determine the remaining parameters of the air which is known as the properties of the air, any two particular value at a given particular time shall be known. Now usually the main two values which are always known are the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature and sometimes the relative humidity. With these three main parameters, the remaining parameters can be analyzed. Now, in my other videos, I will be going to explain you how to read a psychometric chart with the specific examples. Thank you very much viewers. Thanks for watching.